today's video i'm going to show you how i made this beautiful fringe beads on this corset blouse so you want to learn how to create fringe beads on any kind of outfit at all keep watching this video my name is Iberichi Igwe Owona I'm the creative director of Eric's Academy of Fashion and I created this corset from the very scratch in my online corset course so if you want to learn how to create corset from the scratch to finish you can enroll for that online course meanwhile the first thing we're going to do is that we'll fasten our thread on our blouse and get to work so I always like to use four threads instead of two so that it will make the um, fringes very strong most times when you use two it gets to cut so I had to change it and of course I would also recommend that you use a smaller size of needle you can even use beading needle for this to avoid a situation whereby you start struggling with the beads passing through the needle and the rest of them so you fasten it, it's more like run your stitch on the at the exact point where you want to start, pass your needle, thread, pass again, come out so that you can secure that position. Don't just pass it once, you can do it twice, you can do it three times, then you now get your beads. I don't like pouring out my beads, I just remove the head. I don't like pouring out my beads because it's a total waste of time to me and um, it's very stressful having to start picking the beads one after the other. So what I simply do is that I pass the needle through the long channel of beads and then if the needle is slim, the beads will just flow in smoothly. Unfortunately, while I was doing this, I mistakenly used the big size of needle that I used in um, attaching some things on top of the blouse. So I used the big size instead of a small size so yes you would see me struggling in this video and that is why i'm telling you not to do that because i wouldn't want you to struggle okay so you just keep passing your thread through until you get the number that you want i wanted to work with 20 so i had to pass my thread through until i got 20. at this point i wanted to use a contrast color of thread a contrast color of bead to serve as a stopper so I had to add an extra one making it a total of 21 inches you might not want to do an extra one as a stopper like in my Ishago dress I didn't do any extra co contrast color as a stopper I just used the same red all the way so when you put it at the tip when you put the stopper bead at the tip you push everything all up so the method that I use in finishing up my beading is that I always pass my needle back all the way to the starting point it may not be convenient for you there is also another method I'm also going to show you that method in this video so next thing you leave the stopper bead push it aside then pass the needle all through the other beads it is a bit stressful but it gives you a very neat work eventually my name is Eberichi Gwe Obona. I'm the creative director of Eric's Academy of Fashion, a fashion outfit based in Enugu, Southeastern Nigeria. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a like, a thumbs up, share this video, and subscribe to this channel. I share a lot of detailed tutorial pattern drafting videos on how to create blouses, bustiers, corsets, all everything about female clothing. Okay, so you just go through it. It's a bit stressful, like I said, a bit stressful, this particular technique, but you just take it easy, especially when you have a smaller needle, it goes a lot smoother. So I have a full online course where I created this corset from the very scratch to finish, and you can enroll for the online course, you can click on the link in the description box, you can get any of my books on Amazon pattern making for the shapely african woman advanced pattern mastery for the african woman where i have detailed tutorials with pictures colors on how to create different outfits formulas for different female clothing from the very scratch So at the end of this video, I, I'm going to attach the link to 
making the trending Victorian corset with multiple panels just watch that video it is super detailed my videos are always detailed or not at all so you watch that video and please comment drop your review in the comment section ask your questions i'm very glad to respond in the comment section so now i'm done passing through the beads and i had some gaps i had to drag it until i get my gaps fixed so you can see it it's sitting pretty but i have a tiny little gap that i have to fix so i'm just going to push it up and drag the rope and you see how i had to use four instead of two there's a way you handle two and a cut but when you make it four it becomes stronger and easier to work with especially with so much manipulations and all of that So after doing that, once I fasten everything, I pass it through to the other end. Most times I leave intervals of half an inch before the next fringe. You can decide your own intervals. You can decide to use quarter inch. You can, whatever it is you want to use, you can go ahead and use it. Then push out the thread and repeat. Repeat, rinse and repeat. So I'm going to see. So I'm going to sit and repeat this particular process so that you can see it better. I understand that my camera might not have done so much justice with catching some of the very tiny little details. So I'm just going to sit down and do this. Just know that this process can sometimes be a little bit cumbersome. It might seem quite boring, but you need to have the discipline enough to sit down and actually get the job done. So I've done the first fringe, I'm going to sit down to do the other fringes. I don't really like to bead while standing, so I'll just sit down and do the other one. Okay, so now I'm about to fix the other fringe. I'll pass the thread through, leaving an interval of half inch. Remember I said I used four threads, four. I, so that by the time I drag it too hard, it doesn't cut. Also, I also mentioned that I don't like to pull out my beads from the from the string. It's for me it's a total waste of time. So I just as far as the, the needle is slim, because as of this stage I hadn't changed the needle. So as far as the needle is slim, I can and just pass the needle through the beads, count the exact number and create my string. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel by this time you are wrong. Please pause this video, go back and subscribe to this channel. You're going to get so many valuable videos from this channel, free of charge. Okay, so also use smaller size of beads. Eventually I had to change the bead size I was working with because I was struggling a lot. I wanted to exhaust the thread that I used while draft while um working with this particular bead so i wanted to exhaust the thread first before changing the needle that was why i kind of delayed working with this one so you just drag it to the end it shouldn't take a lot of time if you work with the right side of the needle then sometimes you find out that some the middle part of some beads are a bit blocked so you force them through okay just force the needle through or you remove the bead completely because it might just force the needle through might just lead to a lot of struggle
My efforts just my efforts just got severe with this one because the thread just cut and I can't leave it like that. Okay, so I'm going to loosen the whole thing and alternatively let me see if I can lock it in between without losing the whole thread. I find a place to tie the rope without taking off everything. So this tying the rope somewhere along the bead is still a different technique too, so that you don't have to go all the way. So now I've gotten to this point and I want to tie the bead, I want to tie the rope or the thread, whatever it is you want to call it. going to cut it off so this is also another format and it works very well too the only thing is that sometimes you get to see where you tied unlike this other one where you don't get to see where it was tied or where it ended so i have three strings now so i'm going to continue this until i get to the point where i am okay with the number of strings and that would be it so keep watching don't forget to subscribe to this channel Feel free to share this video, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you later.